Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel, and we're joined by... Mike Jellin from Excel is Fun. <laughs> Excel is Fun. We're here live at Highline Community College. I told Mike he has to go first on this one because I think, I think I have a killer solution, but I don't want Mike to know what it is. Woohoo! I can't wait! I better hurry up and get this done. <laughs> All right, uh, here's the setup. Uh, someone just said, I need to round. But guess what? Every time there's a category dollar, round to the four. Otherwise, if it's a crude two. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll just use an if. But it'll be inside the round. So equals round. Where's the number? It's right there. Comma and number of digits. Well, we need a four or a two. So it's simply if this equals, and I'm going to click on this and then double click it and hit F9 because I'm such a bad typer. Anytime that's equal to that, then what do I want? The value if true. By the way, that's a logical test that comes out true or false. You know, hey, I think dollar should be two and crude should be four. I think we have it backwards. Okay. Let's do it that way. So value of true, it's going to be two, comma, otherwise it's four. Now, this formula assumes that there are only dollars and crude in the column. All right, I close parenthesis, and all the if is doing is delivering one of two numbers to that argument. Double click and send it down. Now I'm going to cheat. I'm going to do it another way also. You know, we could do the same round, but what if we had a table over here and we had dollar and crude? Actually, maybe you do it down here just for the video. And we had our two and four. This example, we'll use VLOOKUP inside the round, but this would accommodate if you had many different categories that require different rounding. So I'll just do the round of this, comma, VLOOKUP, and the lookup value is going to be that category, comma, the lookup, the table array, and F4, comma, column, that's the second column we need to return the item from, two, and then comma, False, so I'm going to put zero for an exact match. That's the VLOOKUP inside of numbers. 181.5. And send it down, and this one uh, has the decimals. But uh, there's two ways to do it. All right, I can't wait. <laughs> wait a second, that lap, I don't like that one because it's showing way too many decimals. You know, I, I, I'm not sure about the person who sent this question in. I don't think they really need it rounded. I think they just want to display it. Rounded. I think they just want to display around this. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to. This is new. You can't do this before Excel 2007. I'm going to go to uh, Home Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Use a formula to decide which cells to format, and the formula is going to be equal. So I'm sitting right now in A2. So I want to look one cell to the right of me. Equal B2. Equal to in quotes dollar. If that's true, when I click the format, check this out. They added a number formatting. So number formatting, I'm going to show two decimals uh, for that particular rule. Click OK. And then I'm going to take this whole column and kick it up to four decimals. Number, one, two, three, four. Click OK. And then what happens is if the uh, cell to the right of me is a dollar, the conditional formatting kicks in and only gives me two decimal places. Otherwise, the default is I get four and it will display correctly now. So conditional formatting. And uh, of course, the trick there is we're using a formula that is pointing one cell to the right in order to pull that off. What do you think? Oh, the number tab. When did that come in <laughs> in conditional formatting? I think in Excel 2007. It wasn't there in 2003. I know that. Uh, and everyone wanted it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, I, I used it once in a book. I don't remember which book. For uh, if we had numbers that were like less than a thousand, between a thousand and a million, and greater than a million, I would show either comma K or comma comma M, depending on how big the number was, and it would just on the fly. Amazing! Wait, right? That's but, what's so great about these duels. We just learn amazing things. <laughs> I would have never thought of that. I didn't think of it until Mike started recording. It's like, oh wait, you go first. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun.